Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, how to transfer properties from PCB to schematic and vice versa. So, um, in this scenario, I've got a completed board, I've finished all the routing, etc. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to renumber uh, all the reference designators, um, just so they're a bit more of a sequential order, maybe from the top left of the PCB to the bottom right of the PCB. Um, it makes it easier for an assembler. So obviously you can see I've got U40, U41, etc. And I just want to make them a bit more um, logical in the order that they're renumbered. So what we'll do there is we'll use the um, the manufacture command or manufacture menu, auto rename ref des, and then we'll click on rename. I've got some different grid settings, etc. And I can restrict if I want to put some components and maybe not have them renumbered. But in this example, I want to have everything renumbered. So I then go to the setup option. I can then define um, whether I want both sides of the board to be done, what the direction is from uh, effectively for the top layer and then from the bottom layer, and then which prefixes I want to renumber. So you can add like a top layer identifier, a bottom layer identifier. In both of those scenarios, I'm not going to bother. Um, I just want to use a, a sequential renaming method um, and I want to preserve the current prefixes. So, you know, if it's called J, R, C, X, etc., I want to keep those. Once I'm happy with that, I then just close the form and then we'll click on rename and then the renaming gets done. So we'll click OK to that. Just zoom in here. You can see now see I've got one, two, three, four. So it's it started top left in at the bottom right. I've effectively got down to J5 here. So I then want to back annotate that back to the design. So um, with the schematic, if we open the schematic, we can literally just run the design sync command. So we'll launch design sync. It's available from the PCB menu. So we can just go design sync. Um, and I'm just going to switch this to go from effectively from the, the layout to the schematic. So I want to go from the layout back to the schematic. And you can see it's got all these reference designations. Give me a list of all the changes there. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to synchronize that. And it would then effectively make all those changes for me. It's going to generate the first report, which will just close. And it's renumbered some of the ICs. So you can see the items that have been changed. So if we go to the memory devices, uh, get to the right page, sorry. This is actually U1. My reference designator is buried in white. Let me just change the color of that. So options and preferences. Let's put the reference designator as. Uh, let's make that black so we can see it. So I've got U1 there, U2. 